There should just be one, maybe two clips tops. Let me present the one RC boat that actually survived one of my videos. Even though it didn't structurally fail within all these moving parts, it was still pretty freaking bad. I think you got fooled. The 360 video makes it look way more awesome than it really is. Pretty pathetic and we're gonna remedy this today. So I'm gonna take this pretty awesome boat and make it awesomer. The god of motors a much bigger brushless motor and a lot more batteries. And this is how we're gonna make this boat go way quicker. The new motor is quite a bit bigger and satisfyingly beautiful and that's why I had to redesign the motor mount. And so what I did was I made a cup holding design instead, especially because we are using the water cooling sleeve, it's quite a bit bigger because of that. So that's why we're simply just gonna push it in, bang. We'll melt these two areas with a torch and then we'll fuse it together with the boat. All right, the new motor is in place. We just need to see if it spins the right way. And that's why I have two of the cables taped so I can easily swap them out. Okay, I suppose it's a bit more powerful. Needless to say, a motor like that, a speed controller like that, and batteries like those are pretty expensive. So I contacted Hobby King and asked them if they wanted to see a unicorn popsicle go really fast on water. And they said yes. So I was really excited. So big props to Hobby King for sending that stuff. The old motor was 1700 kV, which means it likes to spin really, really quickly, but it just couldn't because the propeller was so big and moving all that water introduced a lot of friction. And that friction turned into heat, and that's why we saw this motor overheat all the time. The new motor is only 620 kV, which means it likes to spin a lot slower. And that may not sound that good, but an electric motor is only good for when it's actually capable of moving the propeller. And so a bigger and a lower kV KV motor will have a much greater chance of rotating the propeller so it ends up more powerful and without the overheating. But we're not taking any chances today so I'll install a water cooling system using some tubing and brass piping. Imagine the boat doing 100 miles an hour, scooping all that water up through that little pipe, going in to the motor through this pipe here, and then continuing all the way through the speed controller, and then coming out from this little pipe here. I'm not overly confident that that will work, but physics says it should. So tomorrow we'll head out and hopefully see this one do 100 miles an hour. That's not gonna happen, but we'll do it anyways.
this place is absolutely beautiful and it's shielded all the way so there's zero wind there's always no wind at this specific location and it's just perfect to try Orishi boats and do videos like this so the 360 camera is going on this threaded rod and as you can see that's uh, positioned in the middle of this hatch so that's the middle of the boat but I want to have a hole up here and all the way down here a hole here a hole here and a hole here perfect Well, what I think is most likely to fail, and that's just based on this. I'm, I'm telling you, once you go a little heavy on the throttle, it tends to blow up. Well, I just tried it, and I noticed there was a bunch of water inside. There's water jumping up and pushing against the hatch because the hatch doesn't close all the way. I have a little of a space that could lead the water in because it's not a perfect seal. And so I remedy this situation by making so the hatch now close all the way. I really want to try with the 360 camera in the back, which means I can't close the hatch all the way anyways. But I just taped over the hatch and hopefully that will keep most of the water out. <clears throat> Are you serious? There's a lot of power. It's way faster. It's way, way faster. So I was recording some GoPro footage and I heard this terrible sound and I thought to myself, well, okay, this is it, this is over. I guess the worst thing would be if the propeller is broken, that would not be an easy repair. But the propeller is intact, luckily. So the troubleshooting continues. Oh, well, that's easy. Thank you, Jesus. I even brought the appropriate tool for this. There's your problem. All right, let's see what day two have to offer, except the weather being hot AF. So I'm not seeing myself being out here very long, but you know, I'm just gonna prepare the boat with some cameras. And the repair we did is pretty sketchy, but everything else looks pretty good. Well, except the black PLA parts, they're starting to melt. Okay, here comes some full throttle passes. Oh! <laughs> Woo! 
Okay, I was nervous going full throttle, I admit that, but oh my gosh, does it move a lot of water. It's not sensationally fast, but honestly, I I'm, I'm really pleased with the speed we got out of it. It's super powerful, the new motor doesn't get as hot, it gets warm, but it's okay. The speed controller is just fine, the batteries, gosh, it's so much power. Uh, the not so waterproof servo held up, the repair job we did miraculously worked. I got a tan, like a lot of dreams came true today. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this project and please leave a comment. The last video I uploaded got this many views and this many comments, which is terrible. So please leave some comments for me to read. And uh, here's the fish I caught. Vilken jävla fin berre!